Hello everyone, my name is Rick from Excel Gorilla, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can put negative numbers in parentheses. So in a lot of financial reporting, users like to distinguish positive from negative numbers by first of all seeing the negative numbers in red, and second of all seeing them between parentheses. And this used to involve a bit more technicalities using the format function, but since end of 2019 we can now do it in Power BI using some custom formatting in combination with conditional formatting. Let's have a look at how that works. So let's imagine you have a profit and loss statement just like this. When we focus just on the actual numbers, you'll see both positive and negative numbers. And the goal right now is to get the negative numbers in between parentheses. And to change the formatting, you can select the measure that you need. And in the formatting options, you're only going to see a selection. But nowhere does it say that you can do a custom format. But don't be fooled, you can actually just start writing it, just like in Excel. So what we could start out with, let's see if we can make a number with a single decimal. So you could start by writing 0, 0.0. And now if I press enter, it will be applied. And you're going to see that all the numbers in the actual column will have a single decimal. Now the second thing you might see for numbers bigger than a thousand is that it's missing a thousand separator. Now we can add that too. So we're going to start with a hashtag. This thousand separator will be a comma. And then two more hashtags. Then there is a zero, a decimal separator, and another zero. Now by pressing enter, this will be applied. And as is immediately reflected, all the numbers bigger than a thousand now also have a decimal separator. Okay, next in the challenge is getting the parentheses around the negative numbers. When using custom formatting, the second argument always uh, concerns the negative numbers. So we can copy what we just had here. We will write a separator, then open parenthesis, paste the formatting we just copied, and close the parenthesis. And now when we press enter, now you can see that we achieved the goal of adding parenthesis to all the negative numbers. Now there's one more argument that we can add. It's the third one, and it will specify what we want to show if the value is equal to zero. For example, we could just add a dash for everything that's zero. Let's see. I don't think I have any numbers that equal zero right now, but you'll have to trust me on this one. Okay, so in this case, we changed the formatting, and there's one thing left to do, and that's changing the color to being red if it's lower than zero. Uh, and for that, you select the visual, you find the measure that you want to format, and one way to do it is click uh, the arrow here in the values field, then conditional formatting, and click on font color. Now with the latest releases, we can both do conditional formatting for the values and the subtotals. So make sure to apply the values to values and totals. Then I'm gonna wanna have my numbers black if they're bigger than zero. And I want to equal them to a red color if they are lower than zero. And that's all that we need to do for that. All right. So look, looking now at the, uh, at the formatting that we've done, we've achieved making this, uh, the negative numbers in parentheses and also making them red. Now, perhaps you'd like to also add some um, currency symbols. One could also add a dollar sign before the positive side and also a dollar sign in between brackets, if you like. So you can play with that, as you can see. Now, imagine that you have lots and lots of measures that you need to apply this to. It would be quite a work to copy and paste this for each one of them. But luckily, there is a way we can do this in bulk. Let's say we're happy with this formatting here. You can copy it. And then if we head over to the modeling view, and if we then go to uh, the table that contains our measures, we can actually select all the measures that we need. Like the first one is actuals that we just did, and it's showing us the formatting is custom, and it equals the one down here. So if we want to apply the same one to others, you could just select them, hold your control key, uh, I'm selecting the wrong one here. 
So actuals, prior year actuals and total year versus last year. And you can click your formatting on custom. Just give it a second to load. And then your custom formatting, you can just paste it down here and press enter. Okay. I think something went wrong here. Let's try that again. So I'm going to paste this one right here. I'm just going to take the dollar signs out for now. I don't think that's the problem, but okay. I press enter. And now this formatting has been applied to each of these fields. So as you can see in this table here, it's also been applied to last year and to the difference between the actuals and this year. So that's how you change your formatting. It's nice and easy. One can do it in bulk. You can specify all the kind of formatting that you like, and it feels just like Excel. If you like this video, please like it below and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.